WNMU-TV is proud to be an affiliate of the PBS network, delivering cultural, entertainment, and educational services to residents here in Upper Michigan and Northeastern Wisconsin. And in fact, we have a responsibility to deliver emergency alert services to the residents of this area. Some of the services that we're responsible for go into our public schools as well as the homes of residents here in this area. With over 350 member stations, the value of PBS in local communities is undisputed. 82% of U.S. households watch PBS regularly, and the network is ranked number five among all broadcast and cable networks last season. At WNMU TV 13, we pride ourselves on delivering a vibrant mix of national PBS programming and a number of locally produced shows. Unfortunately, prior to last year, it was difficult to air any of this programming. Our Sundance and Omnion-based automation was end of life, and we found that maintenance of the system was less and less feasible for our small station. In January of 2015, we had a water main burst near our facility. It took down our power and generator and led to an extended power outage. This wreaked havoc on all of our systems despite all the redundancies we had in place. WNMU had very clear objectives, which really helped us find and custom build the right system to meet those objectives precisely. The end result is a unique and flexible system that enables the station to work effectively now and into the future. My ideal solution used off-the-shelf components where each system would be solid state, be proven in a 24-7 broadcast application, and cost less than $5,000 per unit to replace. I wanted to find a smaller company that was wholly invested in developing the broadcast software layer, someone we could feel we invested in and seemed like we were in a partnership with. I also wanted multi-format video support with tight BXF metadata standards adherence, as, as well as closed captioning support on both the ingest and playout. It also had to work with our existing traffic control provider, Myers ProTrack. I really needed a forward-thinking IP-based solution that played well with everyone else. At AVI, we are very interested in newer platform agnostic solutions that utilize software with off-the-shelf hardware. Users can customize their environment easily and cost-effectively. These open-ended solutions provide a higher ROI by avoiding forklift upgrades. Our biggest problem was lack of budget. The insurance and other funding we could scrape together was less than $425,000. Most broadcasters and vendors I spoke with didn't believe we could build a new master control for less than a million dollars without significantly compromising our station. I placed a call to one of our integrators, AVI Systems. AVI showed me how Tools on Air solution fit with my philosophy. Tools on Air software relies on off-the-shelf hardware, providing a simple and cost-effective way to build channels. Grant was open to an out-of-the-box design something very different from our typical heavy iron broadcast solutions. When we weighed the cost benefits, he was able to outfit everything with the redundancy he needed and still stay on budget. We are now over a year removed from a near shutdown. We're running two 1080 HD channels and one SD channel 24 seven. Prior to this overhaul, we were an upconverted SD station. And this solution not only helped us transition to HD, but also allows us to adapt to future formats. Tools on air just in, runs on solid-state Apple Mac Pros and AJA IL-4K interfaces, ingesting 16 simultaneous channels of multi-format video, audio, and closed captioning. Tools on Air Just Play is our master control and playout automation system, running on six solid-state Apple Mac Minis and AJA Kona 4 cards. Just Play also automates our AJA Kumo routers and satellite and studio feeds. Just Play outputs independent audio channels and two layers of graphics with RSS feeds. What really saved us is the ability to pass our EAS alerts through it. Each channel is also output as streaming video. All media is stored on Tools and Airflow RAID shared storage that serves content to all our applications, including Cantima Portal, Telestream Episode, and Archiware P5. The bottom line is that we're definitely doing more with less. Tools on Air has been a great partner and their support and development team are always available whenever I need them. Before we only had a budget to fix failures, now I can expand our system as needed. We feel truly in control of our station now and have retained our people, which is really an important factor because we employ, mentor, and facilitate NMU's broadcast school to provide students with state-of-the-art training and real-world experience in modern workflows and technology. We really appreciate the fact that the services we're delivering are reliable and robust thanks to some of the new technical services that have been installed at WNMU. And in fact, what we're doing now with the software services on off-the-shelf hardware rivals 
what other stations have to do with systems that cost four and five times what WNMU has invested. That's an important factor for us because as a rural station, a small market station, we have limited resources. And we're fortunate with the relationships we've had with our vendors to be able to deliver these services in a cost and effective manner.